So welcome, thank you so much for joining me. We're going to draft a pattern on corset today. So as usual, I have input my my lines here. I've already drafted the lines, the essential lines for this project. So I'll make a quick explanation to that and then off we go. So from my shoulder to shoulder measurement is seven. This is it. It's seven. My armhole is as well seven. Shoulder to bust is eleven. I came up by two inches. And that is how I got my chest measurement. Shoulder to under bar is 13. And my shoulder to my waist is 16. I left, I gave 3 inch allowance for this project. Okay. Now, let's proceed. I make a pattern, I'll be using pen. Okay, I will not be using marker. As usual, I don't normally use marker. If you have been following me, I don't know how to use marker. So since we are making a corset, we are going. To, I'm going to draft. I'm going to mark half inch from my. I'll mark one inch down my chest. Can you see that? I'll be marking one inch down my chest and then mark half 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 into the waist. Okay. So this is it. So this is it. I mark one. Um, I'm, I'm marking half inch. Okay, half inch on this line. Half inch here. Half an inch here. Half an inch here. And then half an inch here. Okay, you can do it for the allowance portion. That is not. It's not compulsory. So it's not compulsory. You do it at the allowance part, but then I I want I just want to make a clear indication of what I'm trying to imply here. So I'll be doing exactly the same on the allowance part. Okay, so we are done. My nipple to nipple measurement is three and a half. Actually, the nipple to nipple measurement I had was seven. I divide the seven into two equal parts and I have three and a half. Okay. So with the three and a half, I'll be adding half an inch to it to give us four. And then I will mark from my bust point to my waist point. Right. So this is it. Sure you can see. After we are done with marking our nipple to nipple measurement here. I'll come in on the nipple to nipple measurement line here or the dots here I match and then mark and come and measure half one and a half inch in like so. Okay, so let me just put it on it three. Okay. So this is it. I'll be marking one and a half here. One and a half here. I'll do exactly the same on my under bust. Okay, so I'll mark one and a half here as usual, and then mark one and a half out. So this is it. Okay, right. So on this mark one and a half half inch here i'm going to make a, a curve to miss the bus point nipple to nipple measurement we had here okay i'll be curving to meet i'll be curving from the one and a half inch i took earlier on my under bus here and then my waistline to meet the bus point nipple to nipple measurement point okay so you, I'll be using my free hand, but if you have the curve, that's fine. You can use it as well. But if you are very good in free hand sketch, you can just try your luck on it and see how it works. Okay. So that'll be all. I'm, I'm just tracing it or marking it to the one and a half inch I took earlier. 
Let's see, like so. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Okay. So this is it. Let me deepen it a bit for you to see. Okay. Okay. And let's have okay. Can you see that? Can you see that? Our uh, A shape or V shape is out. Now I will stand here and mark my exact measurement for the nipple to nipple, which is seven divided by two. <coughs> that gave us three and a half. I will stand on this point and mark three and a half out, like so. And on my chest to on my chest line here. Now let me extend this nipple to nipple point here to my chest line. Make sure it's exactly on it, okay? Right, so and on this point she's an um let me say yes she's a lady i wouldn't like i don't like her bust the flesh of the chest or the bust to show much so i'll go in i'll go in by one and a half an inch yep yeah. i made an indication here okay and on this point i'll come in by one yeah and come out by one also this way right so i'll be joining this to that okay but for now you see the three and a half measurement we took over here i'm going to connect it to this side and then connect the three and a half to this point as usual okay so with my free hand let's do that now if you have the curve you are good to go you can use it as well but for me huh, as usual i will use my hand oh i might use my free hand where i go use so like this okay and then to this part here yeah. With a three, uh, with a one and a half, I mark on my chest. About uh, the one and a half, I mark above my chest. It's not compulsory, okay? It's not compulsory. You can go out by half an inch, an inch, one and in one inch, or even two. It's a choice, okay? So don't get it twisted. Can you see that? Right, so that is it. Now I'm going to thread this point here to miss this point here. Can you see that? Okay, I'll do that one with my free hand as well. I don't have to. So this way, can you see that? And then let's see that. Can you see it? Okay. So remember, we mark half, 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 half an inch here, right? So I'll be extending this here with just a curve or a freehand curve to make this half here. And then also connect this to this point here. I'm sure I can see my indication. Right, so let's go. As usual with my freehand, I'll just stretch to tap this place. I'm always, I'm trying to stretch. Can you see that? Can you see it? 
Okay, so now we are. And I'll make sure I connect this to mid that so that we get our corset, our cap for this corset. Okay. Because some people said it's cup, it's 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 fine. Okay. So that we are. I'm trying to make the indication very clear by deepening my my pen and then that'll be all so you can see how simple it looks right i'll now be joining this okay so this way So you can see how it looks. This is our cap for the bust or the breast. Okay. Remember, I took one and a half year, one and a half year. Sorry, it's not recording. Remember, I took one and a half year and one and a half year. So I'll be extending this line to my allowance. Extend this one as well to the allowance part. Then that'll be all for this project. It's very simple and quick. No time to waste at all. I'm only drafting a pattern. I'm not going to make the stitching. Okay. Because I don't want my video to be that long and boring. I don't I try not like long videos like mm, I'm not I'm not used to that. So I will not do exactly the same to you guys as well. So this is it. I'll be trimming up all of this part here. And then this part here, okay. Okay, do you, do you get what I'm trying to show you? I'll be trimming up this part here and then that part here. But I, before we do that, don't don't forget <clears throat> this is going to be our neckline now. So we are making a corset dress, or oh, yes, a corset blouse. So I'll be trimming up all this. This is just to make make uh, make you understand that i use the normal blouse to form this corset okay so for now i'm going to now i'm now going to determine my my neckline so i'll be sloping to this side can you see that i'll be sloping to this side to determine my neck line so on my neckline on my chest here i came down by one inch I came, can you see? I came down by one inch, and that is where I prefer my neck, my neckline to start from. So I'm just going to, I'm just going to make it a slight curve here, not a straight curve, something very, you know, curvy a bit here, and that'll be all for our project. And you see that? You see, it's not difficult at all. It's just, it's just simple very simple to to do okay so don't find it very difficult from now on in drafting a corset blouse now let's take our exact measurement for this project so on my waist remember we came in by three that is one and a half inch here one and a half inch here my waist is seven my waist is actually 28 divided by four which would give me seven on my seven I go in by these three here, and then that'll be 10 and plus 2 inch allowance. That'll be 12. Okay. I have a long way to go. I have a long way to go. But for the best part, the, the best part is you, you have to cut before taking your exact measurement. So this is just a rough sketch of the, my, the measurement we are taking. So my, my bust point, my bust measurement is 36. 36 divided by 4 is 9. The 9 plus 2 inch allowance for sewing and that will be 11. So this is it. Can you see my 11? Okay, so I'm just going to mark it this way. 
this is it so you can see how the shape will just look like this shape is not normal at all but if i if i if i finish everything you get to know the uh, delications more so now i'll be trimming up this excess here on my chest i'll come down by one inch here and then determine my armhole now so this is going to be a ham i'm sorry for this thing here that's fine so i'll be trimming for you to see what i'm trying to imply here this is it our bust is already out a ship is taking place and that will be all so i'm going to trim of this excess part here this part will be off and you see that and this part as well so all this part should be off and then we are good to go so i'm, I'm going to trim can you see our corset is ready okay so if you want to make a corset with your main fabric you just have to put this one on it and then you cut 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 you join 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 and then you're good to go so what i do is after i'm done i love to label it before trimming up or you know bring it up the cap so this is going to be can you see now this is our cap our cap is ready by the time you are done joining this part together and then that part together your cap will be packed up like nothing like nothing is wrong with the old man okay so that is it and you see that this is our corset now when we get to this part let's take our exact measurement for this i do i think the measurement by overlapping it on each other or inserting one in the other like so okay so my waist measurement is seven can you see seven here plus two inch allowance is there okay 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 let's make the allowance one because two is kind of too much okay i actually like my allowance to be one but it's not compulsory it's a choice okay and my bus point my bus is nine plus one inch allowance not assets so i'll be connecting this line now don't forget uh allowance is still attached don't trim off your allowance and so you are done with everything this this is very important do not trim off your allowance until you are done with everything especially if you happen to be the first time you are making use of this corset don't trim off your allowance okay it's very 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 necessary now what i'll be doing is after labeling my cups i will now bring my cup out like this so this is it this is my corset it came out looking so beautiful even with just a a, a pattern okay so just imagine if we should be drafting this on a main fabric just imagine how it will look so this is my pattern uh, my pattern for the corset let me trim up this excess to make it cute now remember i told you that when you are to cut for your main fabric don't forget your half 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 inch allowance to be adding okay so that is it have you seen it it looks so beautiful i mean our project came out so cute okay so by the time you are done joining everything have you seen i can you see that have you seen it our bus will be out in a very nice shape try this at home let me know how you do and please don't forget to give me a thumbs up and also hit on that subscribe button to be part of this family okay so support this family by subscribing to this channel and then i tell you i have a lot 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 
of goodies for you. So we'll call it a day, okay? Now, with the three inch allowance I left, it's not compulsory. At least two is enough, okay? But for me, I love to go the excess way, and that's by and that's by giving three inch allowance to my to my to my corsets. Corsets are very 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 tricky to be analyzed, so be careful when you are cutting. Be very careful. So that's be all for the day. We'll call it a day, and please don't forget to. Hit on that bell, subscribe button to turn on your to turn on your bell notification and also on the subscribe button. Thank you so much for joining me. It's a pleasure meeting you and coming your way again until I see you in my next project. It's a bye bye.